Hello friends and welcome to the fourth video of this tutorial series. In the last three videos, we can we have seen that how we can create a Facebook app, how we can set up the projects folder, and how we can set up the webhook. And now it's time to start receiving messages from our Facebook page to our backend. Let's see how we can do it. In the app.py file, now I am going to write a new view and it is for the same callback URL but this time it is going to accept HTTP POST requests because the Facebook API sends the messages that my Facebook page receives in a HTTP POST request so I am calling this function webhook and in order to retrieve the data from a POST request you need to use this function request.getGetJSON and I will like to print this data on the terminal so I am writing log data and I will create a simple logging function which will just print that message that I have received and a small line sys.stdout.flush to ensure that the complete output message which is stored in the buffer gets printed and we save it and now it's time to run our app first of all again I will activate my virtual environment and I'm going to run my app and it's running and let's see my news bot I've already opened the Facebook page my news bot and I'm going to message it hello so now we have to see if we have received this message in the JSON format at our terminal or not okay so currently it is not showing anything uh, I think we have done a simple small error um, in order to complete a post request you need to send this return ok 200 ok so let us see if it works or not um, since we are using the ngrok server which is pretty unstable I think it may take some time to create the connection but soon we will start receiving it let us see if I run it again or not it will do something and yeah here you go so why is it showing it three times ah, so the Facebook API will keep sending the message until it receives the return message that was return ok 200 so it kept sending that message that's why it is shown three times but don't worry we have taken care of it and here you can see one of it one of the instances of the post request message that we have received let us see what it shows so the main thing is that it contains a con uh, it contains it is just like a dictionary right and in the entry key you have a list and in that list the first element or the first yeah the first element is simply a dictionary and in that dictionary we have another key whose name is messaging and the messaging now contains the data related to my message like the text which was hello Se SEQ is the sequence in which the messages are received which is showing it here 69657 MID is simply the message ID and here is the recipient ID and here is the sender ID and this is the timestamp okay the time at which the message was received and this the, this time will tell you the time at which the Facebook API sent me that message through the post request and object 
is a page it means that i am managing a facebook page the messages from a facebook page are coming to my backend through the facebook api so this is how we can receive the messages uh, let's try something else here hi there and if we see here you go we have received that message here so now it's working fine message text hi there the sequence 69661 the message id the recipient id the sender id and the timestamps so this is how you receive the messages from the facebook page through the facebook api in the upcoming video we are going to create a simple eco bot which will just replicate the message that we have received and send it back to the sender so that's it from this video thanks for watching